how to use Otter AI step by step for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with Otter AI. So let's get into it. Now, Otter AI is a platform that enables you to write notes, to take down notes in your meetings, to save your entire meetings and transcribe them easily with the simple AI tool. It's very easy to use and especially if you're someone that is working from home, you're taking a lot of meetings at home, then Otter AI is something that you need to have because you can't record every meeting and no one can really go through all the meetings. It's so much more easier to have notes of everything and to be able to manage your team, to be able to work on projects and take those footnotes, take those important essentials from the meeting and distribute them to your entire meeting can be a great tool. So to get started with Otter AI, Simply head on over to otter.ai and then click on start for free. This is available for free as well as a business trial for their premium version. So we're just going to get started with their basic version and we're going to go through all of the essential tools that Otter AI provides. Now you can link this to your Microsoft account or to your Google account or you can sign up with your email. I'm just going to go on ahead and continue with my Google account. Now, once you have done this, you will have to enable uh, Otter to be able to take down notes from your meeting. So Otter Assistant will basically be a participant in your Zoom, Google or Microsoft meetings and uh, it will automatically take and share notes to your specific audience. So you can go on ahead and share these notes with your calendar, uh, with the teammates that you have. You can choose to disable this if you don't want the Otter AI to write down your notes in your calendar if you're using Google Calendar. If you want to enable that, uh, you can simply enable it from here. You can choose to disable that at any specific time. Now you can click on Enable Otter Assistant, open this up over here, and you just want to allow it access to your Google Calendar. And now just like this, Otter AI can write down my notes in my Google Calendar for a specific meeting. Now after that, you have to choose what kind of tool are you using uh, for your video conferencing. So uh, if you're using a different type of tool other than Google, Zoom or Microsoft, then you want to click on other. But for us, we're going to go with Google Meetings. And then just like that, you have a automated meeting notes tool, but we're going to skip it right now. And just like that, Otter AI has been uh, opened up. So this is going to be your Otter AI dashboard. Now, a great thing about Otter AI is that not only can you, uh, you know, record your meetings or take down your meeting notes, but it will give you a transcribed version of your entire meeting. Plus, on their free version, you have 300 minutes of meetings that you can basically transcribe. Now, next up, you also have on the bottom right, uh, you will have all of your calendar events. On the right side, you can see your calendar and you can go on ahead and manage your settings and you can choose the specific meeting tools you want. So if you want to auto join all meetings that are going to happen, if you want the assistant to join, you can also click on create workspace to create a workspace on Otter to help your team in collaboration. If you're recording meetings and you're trying to send notes and you are not sure where to send them, creating a workspace on Otter can be a better option. So you can click on create a team and you can go on ahead and subscribe to any of their monthly or annually build business version to create teams on Otter. It's only $20 per user per month uh, if you choose their yearly billing version. Now, let's say I want to uh, take notes from a meeting. What am I supposed to do? Well, you head on over to your Otter home and you will be able to see on the top right, you have three options. You have paste meeting URL to record, then you have record and we're going to allow it permissions, but this will uh, begin a transcription of you, whatever the mic is currently hearing. So instead of having to add the Otter AI into your uh, actual Zoom or Microsoft or Google meeting, you can use any other third party application for your meetings and Otter AI will record or transcribe the meetings for you. So you guys can see Otter AI just started writing down my note from here. 
Now you can see if there is any error, you can actually go ahead and listen to the meeting as well. So there is a recorded version, then you can choose to highlight, comment, action item. And let's say we're recording a meeting. So let's say we're recording a meeting and in that meeting, someone says that there will be a update meeting or another, uh, you know, the launch will be at this date or this this time. So you can create a action item directly from the transcription over here. So for an example, let's go on ahead, click on record. So there will be a launch party on the 10th of May at the university auditorium. Now I'm just going to stop this and we're going to go on ahead and take a look at this note over here. Now what I can do is I can just select this specific item like this and I can click on action item and then you can choose the assignee, the person that's supposed to plan or the event coordinator, whoever, let's say you're having meetings, obviously you're going to be delegating tasks in those meetings. So you can just create these action items and then choose the assignees. So instead of having to, you know, individually send them messages like, hey, you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do this, you can create these action items and assign people and they will automatically be able to see all of the key takeaways from the meetings. Even if someone is not present in that meeting, they will be able to see a summary of it. You can also choose to create copies if multiple different action items are the same and multiple different people have to accomplish them you can create duplicates of that as well plus the best part about using otter is that with each transcription it will keep on getting better at recognizing your words or recognizing the pronunciations that you have so you can rate their transcriptions and the more you rate it the better it understands how to interpret your voice now if you want to do this with google meetings and uh, you want to record those you can go on ahead and click on paste meeting url to record so whenever you open up a google or zoom meeting you get a meeting link and you just want to paste that meeting link and otter ai will be added and you can see I have my uh, Google Gmail calendar and it will go on ahead and plan ahead to record any meetings that I have planned with my Google calendar. So let's say I want to add this or I want to uh, take notes from a previously recorded meeting. You can also do that by clicking on import. And you can click on browse and you can use any kind of video that you have uh, that you want to record so uh, that you want to take notes from so you can just upload that video or meeting video a lot of the time zoom google uh, microsoft all of these uh, applications have tools to record meetings and you can use those recordings to take key takeaways key highlights from that meeting and make that a more actionable meeting instead of just you know talking and the meeting is over you're not sure what was said when what was supposed to be done getting confused about dates all of those issues can be avoided with this amazing tool now with otter ai you have apps as well and in your app section you can go on ahead and link it to google microsoft or zoom then you also have groups. So on the bottom left, you will find groups and you can create multiple different groups and send group invites where you can manage all the data for a specific group. You also have direct messages and folders to organize the meetings that you are recording or transcribing and taking notes from with Otter. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.